Okay, so this is an electric band file and it needs sandpaper. This was made from this big piece. And the size, you just have to figure out what size your, your uh, requirements are for your particular band file. This one, you can kind of recognize it for those of you who go shopping in different places. But the video is about saving money by making your own from a larger piece. So if you think about it, these come in three packs and they cost X amount of dollars. These come in five packs at certain stores and they cost a lot of money for just a couple of these. So if you make your own, and I've already used one of these for a set of those. So think about it, I bought two packs of threes. This one's only got two now. And in theory, with this bunch of band file paper right now, I can make one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five from one sheet times one, two, three, four, five. So five times five is 25. So I will have 25 of these things for hardly any money by buying the larger size. Spending not a lot of time, it's just a bunch of cutting. And you know, just cut with a decent pair of scissors. These scissors are inexpensive and you can get them at the same place you get this thing. You kind of know where I'm talking about. Or you can get these for free when they have a coupon. This has the serrated edges so it cuts the sandpaper, this stuff, really easily. So the first thing I've done is I've taken one of the older ones that I've already used and I've sort of created um, a template by marking it with a felt marker pen and going like one, two, three, four. So I got one, two, three, four, and five, all right? And then I can put that together with the other ones. And then now I'll just go down to the whole list. So it's like one, two, three, four. But one, one, two, three, four, five and just follow it up to here and it doesn't have to be exact science here it's just an estimate and then you can just trim it where you need to there so now i have all those marked get that out of the way now let's start the first one so you just have to cut it here like this and then there's one you try to cut so you're parallel with the edges and not cutting crooked in any way but trying to cut straight so I'll do it production style so cut those first then these So production style, I'm doing one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm not getting quite as accurate as I want to, but that'll work. So production style means doing the same thing for a given run. You're not always having to stop. Just Go ahead and make a bunch of cuts. So now it's just a bunch of cuts. I'm not even really following when I make made my mark because I already have made a bunch of these. I just kind of know where to put the, the first cut. But this is just to show where I'm, you know, making the ballpark cut. So this here, take it off of. What I'm using now. All right, so this looks like it was professionally bought. It was made from this, all right? 
And if you look at how it matches up, it's pretty darn close. Give or take a few millimeters or just, you know, very slight differences, but it all works. If you make them too wide, what ends up happening is it rubs on the inside. And then when you're using the tool and you're not, you're not wearing any gloves, this part can get hot. See how it's got a little bit hot right there? Because my first ones were a little bit too wide when I first started making these to be more economical than having to buy a five pack of these things. And so now I know how to make them just to where they're about their correct width. You know, this, it's better to go skinnier than wider because then the skinny part, skinny ones stay within line and they don't touch the, uh, the metal and the metal doesn't get hot. So it's, it's a lot easier to work with because then this is like a hot spot. So just remember that when you make your cuts, try to keep it so you can actually have five on one of these sheets because five will work. And if you have a much wider type of a band file, then you'll probably definitely have less out of these, maybe four. One, two, okay, see, one, two, three, three or four, but this one I can get five, all right? So now the process of cutting these things. And just cut. Don't worry about like putting this little crease. It goes away. It doesn't crimp it enough that makes a difference. So just make your cut and try to follow a straight line. Try to make it the same width. And these scissors are only about a dollar or sometimes they're free with a purchase. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut another one here. And then when you get to the very end, this can tend to walk apart like this. So you wanna try to keep your fingers to be pulling it so this doesn't split out like that as you're cutting. Cause then you'll waste this part. Try not to cut your fingers too, please. There, so in the matter of what Let's see, that was only a couple minutes. Now I have five of these ready to go. So that's, that's a set right there. Okay, go to the next one. And this one I'll time it. All right, let's time this one. Uh, let's see, right now the video is at 8, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30. So I'm just gonna go ahead and one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, oops, eight one thousand, nine one thousand. Obviously the counting is not exactly to the seconds now, but Let's see how many seconds have elapsed on the video. All right, okay, there. So that was 45 seconds. So in 45 seconds, you got five more, okay? And do some more of these. Some will be tougher than others when you get into the 80 grit range. These are, like for example, this is, uh, this, well, this is an 80 grit. These are 120. And these are, let's see, these are 80. These are 80. No, these are 50. So this is a 50 grit right there. So this is, yeah, this is definitely going to be. 
Not a challenge for these scissors because they got the serrated teeth, but it will put a little bit of wear in those scissors. And these scissors work the best, really. I've tried other ones. And these scissors are so inexpensive that you just get another pair of these scissors for free with a coupon. Just be careful not to cut your hand, please. Watch your fingers. If you're gonna be like crafty like this, you still have to be careful. See how everything's already got this mark and I can just go ahead and get started on it? Production style, now I'm doing all cuts. So those are thicker. If you find a better way out there to make these more expensive then make a video so you can share it and everyone who does work with the band file doesn't have to pay an arm and a leg just to be able to use their tool because I know these things replacement ones they get pricey A 50 is definitely tougher to crunch and your hand will be not too sore but look on how many it's like how many just from less than 10 minutes to just cutting stuff. And the last one. Okay. So now, here's one. Try not to breathe in any of this sandpaper grit dust that can occur. It goes right in here. that up there hit that boom then you make your little adjustment so you can either bring it in alignment this way or that way like that and good to go there so now I can grind out these welds. Quick put them in order here so don't end up putting the uh, 120s with the... You can just recognize the grit too and you can feel it. You can feel that, oh that's pretty coarse, this is, this is coarse, this is not as coarse. So when you start to use it you'll look at it and recognize it okay these are all 120 like that 120 or you can just cut all one grit like do all 80s and do all 120s all at the same time I just kind of had a bunch of them in varying grits so that's what I did did the 50s with the 80s and the 120s but just look at the grit and you can easily determine what grit that is. Obviously, if you look, this is 50 and this is 80. If you can see that, try to recognize it. So then it'll be easier to spot when you go to reach for one and you're working on something. It's not that difficult to eyeball the difference like obviously this looks like a 50 okay and obviously this does not look like a 50 
So looking at the two, all right, this has more grit to it. And sometimes it'll come out a little bit skinnier and it's fine, but just don't want to go wide. Just try to get five out of each thing. So there. That was easy enough to do. All right, so we got, we got the 80s, we got the, we got the 50s, we got the 80s, we got the 120s. And we have band file. So all I needed to use was a pair of inexpensive scissors. Okay. A felt marker. So let me get suited up and put my mask on and start grinding. So I'm gonna cut right here. 